Hey, this is Tina Monk, the author of the Soap Making Handbook, Volume 1, and the creator of the eCourse Masterclass Advanced Soap Formulations. This is another video in the Beginner Soap Making series. This is cleaning up the aftermath after you've made soap. Soap making is messy, and you have um, a few different options for the cleanup. Now, if for cold process, you want to make sure that you have your uh, gloves on still because you still have active lye in the cold process, okay? So one of the first things that I do is I take my stick blender and I whip it in a container of water. And that cleans out um, all the stuff around the blade and it makes it much easier to clean. Um, and make sure that you detach the bottom part of the stick blender uh, before you try cleaning it out so you do not get any cut fingers by accidentally hitting the power button. So you want to make sure that detaches and if it doesn't detach make sure that it uh, is unplugged okay just to be safe there. Um, what I do normally is use paper towels. I wipe off all of the excess soap and you can do this a couple different ways. If you do not need to use your pots again real, you know, real quickly, you can leave it sit for a couple days. You can let the soap um, saponify and then wash it um, just like it is with soap and you can soak it for a while. I particularly don't care to soak it and kind of and have to deal with that. So I wipe all the excess soap off my containers and just kind of um, get it to the point where it's just a little bit oily and then I will use um, regular Dawn and dish detergent to clean the containers and you know everything that I used. So um, Dawn is going to be the your option. It cuts grease very very well when you're dealing with the soap that isn't saponified yet. Now, if you leave it sit for a couple days and let it saponify, then you can, you know, just soak it and wash it and it'll be soap. Um, but you do, one uh, point I want to stress is you do not want to rinse down um, a bunch of unsaponified soap in, down your drain. Okay, so that's another reason why I wipe it all off. Um, if you do not want to go through a bunch of paper towels, you do have the option of using, um, just regular um, maybe uh, like shop towels or something and then you can just leave those towels sit for a couple days and then after they've saponified just throw them in the wash so that's another option too um, but you just need to make sure that uh, you uh, don't handle any of the raw soap without gloves and you don't want to be putting that down your drain either because it can clog it and cause some issues so I just wipe everything down and make sure that there's no big chunks of soap left on it and then I wash it with the Dawn dish detergent. Okay, um, you know, like if you get to the point where you're doing hot process, um, that's that cleanup's different because it's cooked soap and then I just soak it and then clean my containers with that. So if you have any questions or anything else you'd like to add, please leave a comment below. And I appreciate you watching so much. Please like and subscribe. And I would also appreciate your support on Patreon. Um, I will see you in the next video where I will be going over the gel phase.